All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Pratham. I am a researcher with Georgia Tech, and I'll be presenting Mobile Fitting Room. Um, our first author, Justin, is unable to make it here, so I'll be presenting on his behalf. Um, mobile Fitting Room leverages on-device machine learning to personalize virtual try-on while preserving user privacy. With this tool, users can select a garment to virtually try on and highlight the area on their body where they want the garment to be placed. The try-on images are then generated on device for the user to view. So virtual try-on has been a popular topic of research with plenty of applications, and we've seen two overarching approaches. The first one are the classic non-diffusion-based methods such as warping modules. These often fail to simulate realistic lighting conditions such as shadows, wrinkles, um, and they also often struggle with garment deformation when dealing with complex body poses. We've seen that recent research exploring diffusion models has been very promising, but these run on the cloud due to the high computational demand and storage demand, and this poses privacy risks to the user because you're uploading your private body image data. And also it requires the user to rely on a very strong internet connection in order to send, upload, and receive these images. Which brings us to our main research question. Can we do virtual try-on completely on device? The answer is yes. Um, I'll show you a quick demo of how our application works first, and then we'll get into the technical nitty gritties of it. So we begin by first selecting a garment. And then once we do that, we select an image upon which we want to generate this garment. After that, we use the paintbrush tool to highlight the region upon which we want to impose or the region which we want to replace with this garment, as you can see here. Once that is done, we press generate and watch as the model runs on device to generate this new image. We can see this diffusion model is running over 30 steps. And at the end of it, we see this image generated with the person now wearing the garment that they had originally selected. With that, let's talk about the technical pipeline through which we achieve this. The first step in this pipeline is fine tuning. So we follow the approach from Dreambooth in order to fine tune stable diffusion V15. Um, to do this, we fine tune the UNet and a text encoder on a small number of reference images of a single garment, along with text prompts containing tokens that uniquely identify this garment in the reference image. This would allow us to use this unique token every time we want to add this garment to a person. This gives us our fine-tuned model, but unfortunately, this model is still too memory storage and compute intensive to run on device. Also, it's incompatible with Apple devices as it stands. So the next step in this pipeline becomes compression. In an operation called chunking, we split this fine-tuned unit into two chunks. This will increase the chance of cache residency, cache, res uh, cache residency and multi-core utilization on the Apple neural engine. Then we follow a process called palletization to further compress the weights. Palletization clusters the model weights and creates a lookup table to the cluster centers, as you can see on the right. This way, the original weight values are replaced with their pointer to the lookup table, which saves size while also retaining accuracy. The final step puts everything th together through in painting, which consists of using the paintbrush as we saw to highlight the region on your body. This uses an in painting mod. This in painting module uses a control net to ensure that the diffusion model places the selected garment only within that masked region. And here are some example use cases along with the results. We see that the generated image along with the orange jacket shows that the diffusion process is able to incorporate realism to make its own creases and shadows in the shirt, as we also saw in this demo initially. The generated image with the blue dress on the bottom right shows that by using the in-painting module with diffusion, we're able to extend something that's initially short sleeves, as you can see, into a long sleeve press. So we get a lot of creative liberty using, the, using this combination of the in-painting module along with the diffusion module. Um, so yes, as I just presented, Mobile Fitting Room is a mobile app showcasing on-device virtual try-on. Uh, we demonstrate a technical pipeline that considers model efficiency along with user privacy to optimize the virtual try-on experience. Now, I know we're short on time, so I'm going to ask you guys to direct all questions to my email, which is my first name, Pratham, at geotech.edu. Thank you for your time.